As temperatures drop and snow deepens in the Caribou Mountains, about 2,000 mule deer start migrating to their winter range, the Tex Creek Wildlife Management Area. They all funnel into this area because there's less snow, uh, milder temperatures, uh, and it's partly, partly because of tradition. Deer come here because this is where they've always come. Tex Creek provides good food and a safe harbor for wintering deer, but even here, some don't live through the winter. When they get on the winter range, their body system actually forces them to eat less and the body condition actually will decline through the winter, even on the best of winter ranges. So all they're doing is they're putting their bodies into a holding pattern to get through till spring. For the last five years, fish and game biologists have collared and monitored mule deer to learn why individual deer live or die, especially fawns facing their first winter. 95 and a half. They found that the weight gained by deer on their summer range makes the biggest difference. If you can bring a fawn into the uh, winter range that weighs 90 pounds as opposed to 60 pounds, that fawn has a much better chance of survival. 84. But it takes more than body fat to survive winter. Mule deer need winter habitat, and not just any place. They are intensely loyal to a home winter range. They come here because mother came here, and grandmother came here, and great grandma came here. Deer, when they get to their final winter range, that's where they're going to stay, live or die. Tex Creek deer nearly lost 2,300 acres of critical winter range in 1997. It was up for sale as development land. But instead of sprouting houses, it became part of the wildlife management area, preserving a home winter range and a vital link in the migration cycle of hundreds of deer. Migration has told us that, uh, that they need specific habitats at specific times of year. It's not just winter range, it's not just summer range, and it's not just transition range. It's all of that put together, and you take out one link, and that chain will fall apart. Michelle Hicks, Idaho Fish and Game. Thank you.